my PhD was on audio signal processing and I was very lucky to meet Glenn through my supervisor and he gave me the opportunity and until I came to Dolby I had no idea about the practical side of audio. I'm really interested in the sciences of how devices hear people and how that's different to how people hear people started working on crazier and crazier things. What's exciting is it's a pocket of new activity and new ideas that leverages existing expertise at Dolby, but at the same time has the potential to deliver really exciting new demonstrations of forward-looking um, technology. I used to be a musician, I used to, to play music, and forever I've always had, had an interest in, in technology as well. I decided to combine my loves for music and for technology, and here I am as an engineer, and I'm working in audio fields, and I, I love it. You've got to innovate, and this sort of tension between the chaos and creativity of innovation and the structure that lets you exploit billion-dollar markets. And it's not so much a challenge, it's the opportunity. My hobby is becoming Dolby's made business, and I'm sharing it with this great team. Most of the time when I talk with him, I only pick like 5% of the knowledge that he has. <laughs> but I cling on to it and I keep asking him the same questions un until I get something out of it, right? My strength is in the mathematical and theoretical side and it's quite nice for me to have this because the practical side gives me the motivation to come up with the fundamental research problems and work on them. I had a six-month internship with Oculus, working on VR stuff, and uh, my PhD topic is uh, binaural uh, stuff. A lab project is about creating a, a VR system, not for human, but for uh, the audio devices. So with that, we can simulate uh, pretty much uh, millions or billions of uh, scenarios it was test. The best part of this job is uh, uh, Adobe have the vision. And I've learned that sometimes accuracy is not really needed. Marry academics thinking about accuracy and then engineers going towards artistic impressions. So if you can marry those two and come to a unison somehow, somewhere in the future, that will be a nice thing to achieve. It's very interesting. I, I get to work with a, a really, really great bunch of people. I'm surrounded by amazing technology and, and some really, really fantastic ideas. And that's a, that's a, you know, a really exciting thing to, to be involved with and gets me out of bed every morning. So how do you pick a team? How does the team pick a project? I think things have a certain amount of nurturing and presenting vision and possibilities and a large amount of serendipity. Not what they know and where they are, but their velocity. Because if you're sort of placing bets on people, bet on the thing that's moving.